Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is November 12th of 2020. And you see this uh, headline on uh, the screen here. University of Miami study finds that the COVID-19 could affect male fertility. Uh, does that... Does that send some chills through? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, researchers found a possible link between the virus and its potential effect on male fertility, according to a new study by the University of Miami. NBC Miami reported that the researchers with the U.M. Miller School of Medicine conducted autopsies on six men who had, who had died of the virus. They found that some of the men had impaired sperm function. Later on, they discovered that the novel virus invaded testis tissue. I'll put the link to this below, but... Uh, are we going to, if this were, you know, of course, if this is, this is one study, I guess, or two, I don't know. Uh, but there's an awful lot of men out there running around not wearing masks. If this, <laughs> if this turns out, I shouldn't be laughing. If this turns out to be true, if it gets out there and is believed, uh, all of a sudden, we may see every man uh, wearing a mask. So, uh, pop up CNN, see what else is going on. See if there's a headline. For some reason, every male in the United States is now wearing a mask. Uh, do I, with the virus, it doesn't look like there's any good news. Of course, I guess they... Uh, they're saying by April, there may be a uh, vaccine for the virus that is 90% effective. I think a lot of people, though, are going to, because of the present, you know, because of the Trump administration and how he didn't have uh, a good policy or any policy, and the fact that he had people in charge of it, like Mike Pence, and because he meddled in it, I think there may be, unfortunately, a whole bunch of people that when the virus is, or when the virus, hopefully not the virus, when the vaccine is available, maybe there'll be a whole bunch of people that are going to think, I think I'll wait. And... Uh, Plus two, I don't care what they what they're saying. I think there will be a shortage of you know the vaccine. They're uh, they're saying that some reliable scientists apparently are saying no. There, now I don't know. They know more about it than I do. How they're ramping up? Who's going? Whether the company that has developed whether, whether they're informing other companies so that those companies can start producing it too, and then maybe give a uh, a fee. To the company that developed it, I don't know, but um, what else? Let me think here. I've just got my one monitor going. I went back to my regular speakers, did away with the, or put away the sound bar that I had. Um, I'm using, of course, the Logitech G910. That's all I need, and I don't even need a programmable or gaming 
keyboard, but there is a new keyboard out that I would like to have. And uh, don't really need it. I'm running, of course, uh, Windows 10. The camera is the Logitech Brio. Um, I watched, uh, I was watching actually Twitch, uh, and they were doing the uh, feed of the Apple release information a few days ago and talking over it. <laughs> but um, I think I definitely want to go to, you know, one of these, like one of these Apple. Although the pri I think the price will come down on these little older ones, but I'd like to have, uh, you know, a Apple computer with the M1, M1 chip in it or one of the other, you know, devices from Apple. So I definitely want to go to Apple when I can afford it. But I'm willing to look into... Uh, One of the older devices that, if it's a good price, because they have the new ones out that are kick-ass ones. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.